Good morning again, everybody. Good morning again, everybody. Another day, another week, uh, another lesson in Sunday school. And today we read about the transition from the period of the judges, these sort of mighty men, these, these sort of heroes that God raises up, and into uh, the era of kings, when Israel is sort of like the nations around her, with, with kings who reign their whole life long. An interesting thing about the time of the judges is that because God only raised up these heroes when there was a need, Israel could never lose sight of the fact that she was completely dependent on her God. Now when they asked for a king, when they said, we don't want that arrangement anymore, but we want a king like the nations around us, in a way, that was them saying, we want independence of our own. So the whole idea of Israel asking for a king was, was a problem. And there was a certain rejection of God. They didn't want to be completely reliant on him. But they asked, and God told Samuel to give them one. And Samuel gave them their first king, whose name was Saul. Now, Saul was everything you would want in a king. The Bible tells us he was strong, and he was handsome, and it also points out that he was very tall. He stood, it says, ahead above everyone else. He looked the part. The problem is, is that Saul didn't have the right kind of heart. He looked okay, but he didn't inside have the right kind of heart. Saul was a man who um, relied on his own strength and his own wisdom and that got him into problems and as you read today you will you will hear a curse fall on him that says that he's going to have the kingdom taken away from us. So as we read about Saul today uh, maybe uh, the best thing we can say is that Saul is proof of the proverb. Proverbs 3, verse 5. Lean not on your own understanding and trust not in your own heart. Uh, kind of a warning lesson, but a good lesson. Enjoy your reading today.